Welcome to the Lifetime Assembly Channel. My name is John, and today I'm going to help you assemble your 130 gallon outdoor storage deck box. Before we get started, make sure the model number of your deck box is listed in the description below. This video will follow the steps outlined in the assembly manual that comes with the deck box. If you've already begun and need help on a specific step, check the comments or description below for a timestamp associated with each step. Now let's take a look at what's inside the box. There are steps within this assembly that require more than one person, so be sure to have at least one other adult available to help. Before we begin the assembly process, let's take a look at the tools you'll need to complete the job. You'll need a 7 16 wrench, a half inch wrench, 3 8 socket, a 7 16 socket, a rubber mallet, a Phillips head screwdriver, a pair of safety glasses, and a drill. You may see us use an impact driver. If you decide to use one as well, be sure not to over torque or over tighten the hardware. To make this easier, we're going to use a socket adapter, a deep half inch socket, and a Phillips bit. This video is meant to be used as a companion to the assembly manual and not a direct replacement. So for the best results, make sure to have your assembly manual available during the build. It's also crucial that you refer to the assembly manual to review the safety instructions for this build to prevent serious injury or property damage. All right, let's get started. Take the back panel labeled ANA and slide the tabs into the notches on the floor panel just above the Lifetime logo. Slide the panel to the right to lock the tabs into place. Repeat the previous step on the opposite side of the floor panel using the front panel labeled AMZ. Take a side panel and insert the tabs into the grooves on the front and rear panels. Once the tabs are in the slots, go ahead and slide the panel all the way down. Repeat the previous steps for the side panel on the opposite side. At the top of each corner, you'll notice a divot. Insert a screw to attach the side walls to the front and rear panels. Slide one end of the lid support into the slot on the bottom side of the lid. Lay the support down and slide the other end into the slot on the opposite side. Slide the support over so that the cutout in the support lines up with the notch on the lid. Secure the lid support to the lid through the four small holes, making sure not to add any hardware through the larger holes at the ends. With one of your hinges oriented like this, insert the ball studs into these holes also oriented like this. With the lid support away from you, take the long end of the hinge and place it into the slot in the left corner, making sure that the ball studs are facing in. Secure the hinges to the lid through these two holes. The holes are smaller than the hardware, but this is by design.
with the other hinge oriented like this, insert the ball studs into these holes on this side. Place the other hinge into the opposite corner using the same method as before, making sure the ball studs are facing in. With the help of another person, lift the lid onto the back wall, making sure that the cutouts on the hinges line up with the notches on the back wall. Make sure the back side of the ball stud is in this hole, and then secure the hinge to the side wall with the hardware. Now repeat for the opposite side. Take your gas springs and orient them like this, then press them onto the ball studs until you hear them click into place. Thank you for watching this video on how to assemble your lifetime 130 gallon outdoor storage deck box. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up. For more content like this, subscribe to our channel. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to our customer service team and check out our other awesome products at lifetime.com.